Batter up! Welcome to No Buns, the podcast for the casual baseball fan here on the Athletic Baseball Show. I'm Taz Mills in studio in Atlanta, and with me, as always, super producer JD. Hello. Hello, JD. And with us, my co host all season long, coming from Taiwan, it's Joel McMillan. Hey, Joel. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, but good evening to your baseball stadium behind you because you've got a night <laughs> stadium, a night stadium on your Zoom background. And I got to say, I don't know where we are. Can you fill in the listener? Can I guess? Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. There's a dead giveaway in the left corner. <laughs> yeah, is it, it's Boston, right? Yeah, it's Fenway Park. Oh, I can't yeah. see the wall. Well, it's I'm this blind. this Sitco logo up oh, top. Right, there. Right. Nice, Way good to go, eyes, JD. JD. Good eyes, yeah. Yes, so JD. I thought we're doing uh, baseball and music. I thought I'd I found a background of a concert at Fenway Park. I believe this is the Dropkick Murphys doing a concert at Fenway Park. Okay, mm-hmm. fitting. Cool. Great stuff. Yes, yeah. yes, Joel. We're gonna take a break from all the wild card races, everything going on in the standings. If you want that coverage. Check out all the programming, all the daily shows at the Athletic Baseball Show feed, wherever you get your podcasts. Baseball music trivia here today. We're going to get into it. A whole lot of it. The idea started, JD was at a baseball game on Sunday here in Atlanta at Truist Park, hanging out. The Giants were visiting, and he heard all the walk-up songs going on. Yeah. And you're going to play some of those songs. We're going to have to guess them, JD. Yeah. We're going to have to guess the player <laughs> that it was used for. That's right. Yeah. Why Why did the in-game production use that song for Mr. Estrada? We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to have an edition of You're Out, where we've got to eliminate one baseball super fan musician. You know, all those fans that you've got for each of those teams, we're going to eliminate one because we're cutthroat like that. But first... Let's go through some trivia questions that have a baseball and a music tie. Yes, this sounds like a lot of fun. At first, we were talking about it, Joel. We we had JD's idea about the walk-up songs. And then you threw out, you know, what about some, some baseball and music trivia? I thought, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough questions. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of questions. Uh, I was totally. I told you. Ta- I told you. Yeah, you got a dropkick Murphy's background behind you. Yeah, there's a lot. So l- l- we're going to alternate questions. Um, but I'm going to go first because I got so many cues. Uh, I got some extras that I didn't tell you about, Joel. We'll get to those uh, a little bit later. But I'll throw it out there, and then the other two can answer. And then when you throw out, JD and I will answer. All right. So first question here Which. MLB umpire has released two country albums. Wow. What? <laughs> That's a curveball. <laughs> Not even an umpire saw that coming. Can see that curveball coming. <laughs> if you, yeah, I'll just stop there. Anyway, the question is which MLB umpire has released two country albums? And it's a recently retired umpire, if you want to hint right off the bat. I yeah I will defer to JD because I know the answer. <laughs> I was pretty confident, so I'm gonna defer to my to my colleague JD to see if he wants to take a stab at it. Uh, I didn't know Garth Brooks was an umpire. <laughs> <laughs> a Chris Stapleton. I don't know any country artists really. No 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 no. It's, uh, a, it's an umpire. Yeah. That's released two albums. Okay. He he is the singer on two albums. Like yeah, I know. Oh. I, don't, I don't know any umpires, that's for sure. Oh, okay, so yeah. I'm, 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 Joel, I'm give me the answer. Brain f- <laughs> Joel, you know the okay, answer. Okay, well, it. country music, of course, it's got to be Cowboy. Joe West recently retired. Yeah, I uh, I go. was aware of that. Yeah, okay, easy. Huh. Cowboy Joe, that's what they call him. Never uh, heard of him. Yeah, I mean, if you're out, you're, you've seen the Dropkick Murphys at Fenway, but you haven't seen uh, <laughs> Cowboy Joe. Anyway, uh, Joe West, that's why they call him Cowboy Joe. That's who he is. Uh, Cowboy Joe, he's got another nickname, too. Uh, Country Joe. That's what it is. You know why? Okay. Because he has country albums. All right. Off to a great start. Go ahead, Joel. What's your first one? Okay. So my question is this. In 2017, this band sold out back-to-back nights at Wrigley Field. A total of 80,000 fans attended. This broke a record for Wrigley Field. Name the band that sold these two dates out. 2017 this band, yeah. band was rocking for two straight nights hmm yeah 
eighty thousand um, fans. There was about forty thousand each night, and it set a an attendance record at Wrigley Field. Is it for a music like a, a Chicago based band? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I actually had <laughs> yeah. to look these guys up. I'm gonna give you, you had a to clue. look them up, as in you didn't know them. I didn't know them. Wow. I didn't know them. Trey Kirby, I think, is a big hint for this. Trey's into oh, uh, Grateful Dead this... or Dead and Company. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. JD, that's it. Yes. Okay. So JD, I have a question. I'm a, sorry. Total amateur hour. What is Dead and Company? Well, it's the Grateful. It's the surviving members of the Grateful Dead because Jerry <laughs> Garcia and a bunch of them, uh, the original members, a lot of them have already died, but they continue to okay. tour. So I think like Bruce Hornsby, John Mayer is in it. Um, I don't even know, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they're still touring under the dead, the Grateful Dead umbrella, but they're, they're called Dead and Company because they're not okay. exactly the Grateful Dead, but you know. Some are dead. Some are actually does that, dead. Does that like, cause I have no, like, I, I again, I don't listen to this band. Does that surprise you that they drew 80,000 <laughs> fans in, in a weekend? I mean, not really. Uh, no, it doesn't. I guess it surprises me that it's it was in Chicago, but I don't know. Yeah, they're 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 one of the biggest bands of all time. Always have been. Um, okay. W- w- for a band that has barely any hits, really, you know, like they don't get radio play. They never really did. But it's all about the experience. It's, about the vibes. it's all about the spinning around. And enjoying listening to dudes dick around on guitars for three or four hours. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. Okay. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, okay. But uh, but yeah. Uh, and it would make sense that it's at an outdoor venue like Wrigley Field. Totally. I wonder if I don't know what month they are playing in, but I wonder if it was a winter month. And I, I, I mean, I. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. No, I take it all be. back. It has to be a summer month, totally. but. I don't know if the, if the Grateful Dead. This is a, a random question, but have they ever played in an indoor venue? Doesn't doesn't fit. Hundred percent, hundred percent. They have. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but it's wrong. They should it be. Feels playing wrong. It, it yeah. definitely feels wrong. If you're like tripping on mushrooms, you want to have the stars above your head. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> totally. Uh, okay. Uh, next question here. Which rapper threw out one of the worst first pitches in MLB history? This might this might be a gimme for someone like Joel. Okay. Um, but is this? I'm gonna defer. Okay. <laughs> you know you know it then. I'm pretty confident I know it. Yeah. Is this a good rapper? Like. Extremely well known here. Uh, I'll give you a hint, JD, because he was very much uh, in pop culture because he had a huge performance was part of a p- huge performance in the last couple years okay even though his heyday was right 20 years so ago. we're talking the super bowl dr dre that's right that show yeah but it wasn't dr Dre. no snoop dog no 50 that's right 50 cent that's the one that's wow. the one what which what uh where was it <laughs> you remember joel I believe it was at City Field in Queens in New York. He uh, just totally airmailed a throw. <laughs> oh well, yeah, he's a lefty, and I think he did. Yeah. It, I think he was on the mound and he threw it basically almost into the first base dugout. Not quite, but oh, it was God. so so off. I think he hit a photographer, according to the report, that had no <laughs> idea that a ball was coming his way because it was it was way off. But uh, yeah, he, he took just it. a bit outside. Yeah. yeah, that that a hundred percent that would be me though. I would practice over and over and over again, like Kevin Spacey and uh, what, what was that show? House of Cards. <laughs> House of Cards and his really weird throw. Remember that? <laughs> Short armed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> but I would practice over and over, and when it came to it, under the bright lights, it's going into one of the dugouts for sure. For and sure. and yeah, I I read an article about uh, Fifty and how difficult it was for for him and i read a, a bunch of quotes from actual baseball players who said they would never do it yeah that they i think it, i think it was Dontrell willis who said that it, there was some sort of ceremony for him but he said nah i'm not doing it i, I forced my son to do it because it's way more difficult than it seems just to, yeah. to get out there walk out there and just throw it 
but uh, people. Well, Tess, you've done a, like a half court shot several. Times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's way harder to achieve. But the pressure, the lights, the, yeah, like and there's there's yeah, totally yeah, same thing. Uh, no warm ups. I always bitched and complained that I needed to warm up a heck of a lot more to get into a flow. There was nowhere for you to warm up. That was yeah, the there's a gym. There's Is a gym. It? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I was trying. I was trying to get our man Paul Benedict to get us uh, some practice time at that gym. There's an underground gym or that. Uh, all the players warmed up for at, at Summer League. We're talking about specifically uh, Vegas Summer League. Yeah. Uh, but it's also like it's kind of a lose-lose situation with throwing out a first pitch. Like if you throw it over the plate, okay, you're sort of expected to be able to know how to play catch. But if you you know you throw it off like 50 Cent did, that's all we're talking about, really. Right. You know. So it's yeah. Anyways, he took it like a G. Everybody should have been. <laughs> Question here. What song did Hall of Fame closer Mariano Rivera enter a game with? Okay. This... Is this the horns guy? No. Uh, uh, Edwin Diaz, no. Uh, no. But um, a really, really a well-known song, JD. This this one I knew. We're going to get into some harder ones here, but this one. <laughs> These I'll... aren't the hard ones? No. Well, I mean, some of them are definitely hard. Uh, yeah, they get harder, I think. But um, a connection with later with sort of, we're giving it away a little bit, but it's a, a really, really, really popular song that's played by one of the super fan musicians that we've got later on in the show. Interesting. Yes. Uh, Enter Sandman. That's right. Nice. Hot damn. JD, nice. Thank you for the hint. Yeah, yeah. Metallica <laughs> on, later on. But uh, yeah, that was that's pretty iconic, Mariano Rivera. Yeah, I like. I thought that was a gimme for you, Tess. I'm like, I'm gonna give him a gimme. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Joel, I've got this one for you as a follow up. Mm-hmm. What other accomplished closer used that song throughout his career as well? Tess, drawn a blank. Like really? really, I had no idea. And when I saw this question, I was kind of like. Isn't this like a stripper stealing another stripper's song? I thought there was like a code where like they only danced to one song. Sorry, TMI. Um, I honestly don't know. Like the only other high profile closers around that time I can think of, I think there was Trevor Hoffman. And I believe he came into Hell's Bells by ACDC. Um, okay. Jonathan Papelbon was shipping up to Boston. Tass, you're getting, you're getting, I you're getting know. slightly warmer. What? Can I can I guess? I don't know the guy's name. The big tall guy with the mullet mustache. What's that guy's name? It's not him. Oh, Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. It's not Randy Johnson. No, no. no. Is that before? No. Well, he was a starter, so. It was... Oh, right, right. right. Um, Tass, what era? Lefty, what a lefty era though, looking... like Randy Johnson, a lefty, lefty. and uh, era similar to Mariano Rivera. He pitched from '95 to 2010. And was exclusively a reliever and had some monstrous saviors. Um, Who did he play for? Astros, Mets, uh, and a touch of Phillies. And then there was a couple teams oh, right at the end. I, Billy Wagner? Billy Wagner. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. 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 <laughs> I just that I don't know I don't I that kind of bothers me like same era same position and you're like of all the songs to choose from really enter Sandman like great song it's a great song it's a great song for someone else has got it I'm sorry no he you don't get exclusive rights I I don't yeah you can't you can't you can't do it no no no, you can't you can't have exclusive rights oh yeah I I agree this these are for the in crowd experience so they were they were literally in lockstep with their careers. I think, I think looking at it quickly here, I think they started in the bigs at the same time. And 
I mean, Mario Ryan, or Mariano Rivera had a touch of, of starting in his first year with the uh, the Yankees. I had totally forgotten about that. But I wonder, I wonder who did it first. I wonder who did it first. Probably Mariano Rivera. Yeah. Probably. But that's a good question. But yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> but uh, they literally were around the exact same time. So I don't know. Maybe we should be ridiculing Mariano Rivera. That's mm. all I'm saying. Um, all right, Joel, what do you got? What's your next question, my man? Okay, Tass, this is a question from one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time. I'm going to say the line. I want you to fill in the missing lyrics here. Okay. It's from the song Award Tour by a tribe called Quest. Oh. Okay. Know the time when the Quest is in the jam. I never let a statue tell me how nice I am. Coming with more hits than the. Matt, Matt's. Not Mets. Oh, Good but guess. It, good guess. It's teams, right? You're getting warmer. Yeah. Because when you said Mets, can you? I want you to uh, give me a little flow on it. Oh, don't <laughs> yeah, rap it. Do not make me. Do not make me start <laughs> it's rapping. A, it's, no, it's a war um, tour. Okay. It's a great song. Okay. Know the time when the quest is in the jam. I never let a statue tell me how nice I am. Coming with more hits than the. Braves and the Yankees. Taz. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Yeah. Well done. I remember. What a now, pull. Well, you the Mets really helped me out. The Mets really helped me out. But yeah. that was a great Your song. Braves, Taz. We had to mention we had to mention your Braves. I had to put them in for you. Coming with more hits than the Braves and the than Yankees. The Braves and the Yankees. Wow. That's, That's a classic line. I love that line. I love that song. Yeah. That's an interesting uh, uh you, you picked Mets, JD, because sort of rhyme with jam yeah well oh, yeah no. with uh the hit with hits i don't know oh. i was just going off the last thing. coming with more hits yeah. than the mets <laughs> yeah praise the yankees and this also i believe that a tribe called quest they're from queens which is where the mets play interesting so also nice, another nice yeah, tidbit. logical guess nice tidbit yeah. all right i all believe right. they're from queens yeah uh a, another group from that era is uh the focus of our next question here the Beastie Boys famously said they had mad hits like... Oh, I know this. Which MLB icon? Oh, yeah, here comes JD. <laughs> I didn't know it was even an MLB player. It's Rob Carew. Boom! <laughs> yes. Yes. Sure shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well done, JD. That's right. Didn't know, didn't know you coming coming through there. <laughs> did, you, did you know that one, Joel? Had mad, mad hits like... As soon as JD said it, I was like, yeah, that's right. But uh, the name of the song escapes me. What's the name sure of the song? Sh- I think it's Sure Shot. Oh, it's Sure Shot. Oh, okay. Sure yeah. Shot. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Rod Carew got some play. Who? Yeah. So who did Rob Carew? A New York guy, I'm assuming, just because of their know. pedigree. Oh. Twins? Played yeah. for the Twins. Oh. Spent a good... I, I think, like... yeah, he's one of the all-time hit leaders. Yeah. Just looking for a big hitter that uh, rhymed with whatever the previous line was. I think, yeah. I can't remember. I, yeah. <laughs> it's a Rod Carew. It, Rod Carew got some play. Adam Sandler also uh, threw in a Rod Carew line. Oh. Uh, oh. Not a Jew, but guess who is? Rod, Rod Carew. Carew. <laughs> oh, so it's Rod. I, I said Rob. Oh. oh, all this time I've been saying the wrong lyrics. How <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> uh, all right, Joel, you got the next one. Okay. So this was Tass. We had a bit of an, uh, an addendum to add to this one. Um, which artist or which band has headlined the most concerts at baseball stadiums from 1996 to 2016? Hmm. So the most, the most baseball, specifically baseball stadiums from Spe- 96. Specifically, yeah, to 2016. So which band or artist has headlined the most concerts at baseball stadiums from 1996 to 2016? Interesting. Is it American? The artist? He's not, and I feel you're going to get Ooh. it right away. Oh, he. It's a he, and it's not a Oh, band. is it Elton John? No. Interesting. You're going to get it right away. All I have is bands in my head. Uh, is it somebody? Huh. He played in two bands, but on this 
on this information, they list him as a solo artist, but he played in two bands. Sting? Ooh, Not Sting. Guess. Is it is it in English? Like, is it English, or are we thinking more like uh, yep. it is English? Yep, yep, yep. Played in two bands. Oh, Eric Clapton. No. Is Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Nice. Uh, All right. Paul McCartney with twenty one appearances. Who do you think was number two? Hmm. American singer Bruce. I believe he's from Jersey. Yeah. The bon- other Jersey oh, bon Jovi. guy. Okay, I think another Jersey guy. Another so one. So not Bruce Springsteen and not He's you I'm a I'm part of the clue. Oh, Billy Joel. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Billy Joel was number 2. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we got there. We got there. I, but I, that doesn't surprise me. Paul McCartney, yeah, like I I and I heard that or I'd come across that somewhere years ago. Yeah, he's headlined the most baseball stadium shows. I don't think that's a surprise. Like oh. he headlined two big bands. No. Yeah, I, I guess I was just looking for a baseball connection with El- Elton John, his famous sequined Dodgers outfit and stuff. I thought there was like mm-hmm. an actual baseball connection, but they just want a big, a big open field for, for guys yeah. to play in. Yeah. All right, great yeah. stuff. So that's that. Okay. The who, the the who, or which band? Uh, the the who thank you for saying he uh, that led us in the right direction yeah, for Joel. Sure. yeah yeah <laughs> okay next one which famous outfielder rapped on a song called the way i swing with kid sensation kid sensation was the actual rapper and this outfielder actually uh, i listened to it yesterday and uh, had more than just a verse he he rapped a couple verses and i will never listen to this song again uh um a far better swing than rap flow i gotta say although you know i i I just i i don't remember hearing this song ever uh and i'm surprised i never heard this song is it a like a baseball novelty song kind of thing like like the old lakers rap no no, I mean, there's lots of lines about baseball, but no. There's an actual song. Yeah. With a baseball player in it. Yeah. And that yeah, baseball there's, player there's, is. There's a little. Yeah. Who is it, Joel? Do you know? Um, Which is this? Are they retired? Is this player retired? Yeah, yeah long retired. Um, it's from it's from the 90s. Oh, from the 90s. Um, okay. But, Kid um, Sensation. I don't even know Kid that Kid Sensation. Is. There's a tiny giveaway in there because of kid Be- what yes. team yes. what team because did this kid. outfielder play uh, if i say it it's it's a really 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 famous outfielder if i say the team ken griffey yes wow oh it's ken griffey jr guy. wrapped <laughs> i ooh, i don't think i want to hear that <laughs> you know what i i'm I, I, sound, I sound like an a-hole and i say i'm never going to listen to the song again uh, you know he stepped up to the plate Pun intended. Wow. He did it. He he stepped up. He stepped up and he made a song with Kid Sensation. Okay. And so uh, I thought maybe, like you said, JD, more of a novelty thing, like yeah, yeah, like, like a Let's Go Blue Jays, but a rap version. Yeah, sort of thing. and maybe this guy was a Seattle guy as well, but he wasn't, uh, Mister Kid Sensation. Um. But yeah, there's lots of lines about my his swing and uh, that kind of thing. Mm. So. Anyway, okay. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna have to give that a listen to later. I just can't believe. I just can't believe I didn't listen to it. I mean, I'm still listening to like <laughs> Mason, Brian McKnight, and Kobe and Brian McKnight, and Nelly and Brian McKnight. Like you know, all the all the mixes uh, with with any athlete. I'm I'm shocked. I guess I guess it wasn't huge. <laughs> well, if only he had rapped guess with not. Brian McKnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize I was going to say Brian McKnight. <laughs> Three times in a row. Uh, <laughs> all right, Joel, what do you got? Okay, Tass, this is my grandpa question. I know when we were putting this together, you're like, all right, Grams, try to keep it in the 21st century. But <laughs> this one, Tass, I had to I had to break ranks. Um, and this was a pure uh, Canadiana question for both you and JD, obviously. So two days before the Skydome uh, had its first official game, there was a televised ceremony 
Which Canadian band performed at the opening of the Skydome during this televised ceremony on June 3rd, 1989? Now, is this... I watched... I watched... I feel like I watched this on TV when it when it happened and it was a goddamn disaster like <laughs> it was horrible it was and raining and there was like it was dancing. raining yeah it actually rained it's like well we got <laughs> yeah. a retractable roof you guys and then they left the roof open and it was freezing cold and raining and i remember i just remember like dancers sliding all over the goddamn place like yeah. it, it was it, it was a it mess was such a mess but the band you mind if I guess? Taz? No, go, no. Go, I go think that, I think it's your boys. I think it's bare naked ladies. Really, Joel? Joel? Mm, Tass, you want to take a guess? I, 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 okay, I say, not, I say no. I think it's a little ladies. too early for the boys. Okay. Um. So okay. This was so, 1989. Yeah. yeah 1989. 1989. 1989. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon was 92. JD. Okay. I don't know much about music. this band, the Pride of Newmarket, Ontario. Market not too. some 41 that's too early no, for that's them. too early too 1989 test 1989 <laughs> uh 1989 uh so uh not rush good guess but not not rush um is it the same I that know... genre like uh is it more rock or is it's it... it's 80s i th- now like i know they had one big hit i'm sure they had other hits i'm not a music buff but I know they had one monster hit. I kind of thought they had a cool name. I still think the cool it's a cool name. Two words. There's an animal incorporated in their name. Oh, uh, Glass Tiger? That's it. No way. JD, nice. Wow. Got it. <laughs> Glass Tiger. They were the ones. Wow, they that, got the call. That did not age well. That's, a, that's like a icing on the cake of the disaster that they've uh, the with the rain and stuff. <sighs> You're telling me. So I've got a question. Okay. Their the song I know, their big song was "Don't Forget Me When I'm Gone." Yeah, and then did they have any other hits? I not that I know of, no. But they were okay. huge. That was a okay. massive, massive hit. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. it's a good song. It's All good. right, great stuff. Hey Joel. Hey Grandpa. Thanks yeah. for thanks for that question. I, I like that question. <laughs> thanks for giving that to me. Uh, thanks for giving that. What to was me. okay? I, I know we're going slightly long here, but I don't care. Um. <laughs> What was our were other Canadian reference recently? I think it was for Canada Day. We did an all Canadian baseball show, and right, were we talking about who sang at the World Series between the Jays and the Braves? Is that who that was? Oh, was we that? did we did a World Series trivia? Yeah, it was who sang the Canadian national anthem in Game Three, the first game in World Series on, soil, like on Canadian Canada. soil. And was that the yeah. that? No, it wasn't. I thought it would. It should have been. Bare Naked Ladies, but yeah. it was Canadian icon. Anne Murray. Anne Murray. Oh, Anne Murray. Yeah, yeah, it was right, Anne right, Murray. Right, right, okay. Right. Yeah. All right, great stuff. Just wanted to confirm that. All right. <laughs> uh, Cleveland Rocks is the post-game victory song for the Guardians. Which band sings this song? Okay. JD, that's easy for you. Right? I know it, but go ahead, Joel. Okay. I, I truly have no idea. Can I get a hint? Can I get one hint? It is the theme song of the old Drew Carey show. Yeah, that I, I, but I still don't know who sings it. I, I remember they're all. Re- uh, I don't know. Maybe, JD, maybe you taste, go for it. Maybe a tasty hint. Maybe a, <laughs> maybe a sweet, succulent, juicy. Their other another song of theirs. It's juicy. Uh, connect, <laughs> connected. No. Uh, maybe no, that's not the way to say it. Uh, uh, Super Mario Bros. movie connection. Mm. It's a, it's a link. To the new newish Super Mario. I didn't Bros. see it. I didn't see it. Um. You, well, you know her. I mean, this is this is like three degrees of separation. But you know, Princess Diana, Peach. Princess Peach. Peach. Yes. No, not Princess Diana. Peach. I don't know where you're going with this, to be honest. Am uh, I thinking of the oh, wrong band? Oh, the United States, the presidents of the United States of America. Yes, yes, no, yes. Oh. That's not right. Yes, it is. It's a cheap trick song, isn't it? No, it's the presence of the United States of America. Unless my man Andrew Baggerly of the Athletic is lying to me in his article, but I believe I, I believe he's down. correct. There's no way it's the presence of the United States of America because Andrew Baggerly then makes this joke that I stole. I thought it was cheap trick. Hold Your on. prize is millions of peaches, peaches for free. 
Okay. Nice uh, nice tie in with the peach. I was like, Princess Diana. No, clearly not Princess wrong. Diana. Wow, yeah. so I was wrong. Not Princess Diana. Uh, okay. Okay. Wow. Sorry, JD. Uh, no, no. Sh- I... Shout out to Andrew Bagley. Shout out to Mike Oz of Yahoo. I stole some of those questions. And let's do a co- quick rapid fires before we get to JD's warm up songs from the Giants and Braves. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. But let's go rapid fire. I know Joel. Joel, just uh, as JD is trying to figure out w- w- where he went wrong with that last question. <laughs> Which guitar playing former MLB outfielder was nominated for a Latin Grammy in 2009? Former outfielder, Latin Grammy. Played the Ooh. guitar. Oh, Bernie Williams. Yeah, I knew you'd wow. get that. Good this one. one this one might be a little harder. Which country star's father pitched 19 years in the big leagues? Oh, McGraw. Tim. Uh, Tug McGraw. Tug McGraw, wow. the dad. Tim McGraw, the son. Yeah. Very nice. Two la- two questions. You're going to love the last one, uh, JD. It's for you. Okay. Which former MLB pitcher has a cover band in which he plays the songs of Pearl Jam, Tom Petty, and Oasis? This, is, this sounds hard. It is hard. I have to name a pitcher? <laughs> is it Tass, is it Bronson Arroyo? <laughs> wow. Way to I go. Never would have pulled that. Way to go, it, Is that right? That's 100% right. And, oh, and last man. question. Last wow. question before we move on. It's for you, JD. Which MLB pitcher, not currently in the big leagues, but was last year, recorded a pitch at Broadway on which he sang famous Broadway songs? This might be hard. I ended with I ended with a tough one. It's not going to be as rapid as I thought. <laughs> Current, uh, a current-ish MLB pitcher yeah. recorded a pitch at Broadway on which he sang famous Broadway wow. songs. No uh, clue. Yeah, this no isn't. Clue. We're 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 veering into uh, you know not as uh, famous of <laughs> pitcher here. Uh, it's a little deeper cut. Uh, uh, he's no kind idea. of like a starter reliever. Joel, Pirates, most of his career. <sighs> no clue. Steve Brault. Never would have. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, Moving on, our next segment came about because JD you went to the Braves Giants game. Yeah, on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a scorcher, man. Like, <laughs> not to start with the heat, with an Atlanta story, but God, it was hot. Um, anyway, uh, my friend uh, Dave is in town from Canada, and he wanted to to my get a real Dave in Canada. Dave oh, from Canada. Yeah, he uh, he wanted to get a good a real taste of Americana, so. We went down to uh, Truist Park. Um, we bought. Uh, I was I was really pushing hard for the SRO tickets, standing room only. Uh, Dave, Davey wanted to sit. I was like, fine, no problem. Uh, we got tickets, and um, you know, Truist Park is great. Um, very very well designed, and uh, I wouldn't say there's a bad seat in the house. This was the view from our seats. Mm, very nice. Okay. nice. We're here in uh, we're, foul territory. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, deep, deep right field. Beautiful day, obviously, but burn mm-hmm. your ass when you sit on those those green seats. Right, how deep are you? As we're we're watching this on YouTube, the Athletic Baseball Show YouTube channel. If you want to see it, how deep? Uh, pretty. How, isn't this the? Oh, I guess you're not. You're in the second. I perch. mean, at the two hundreds. It's. Wow. I think it's section two twelve. That's a good view. That's right? a great anyway. view. It's a great view. But then our man Larry uh, was working the game. I gave him a shot, him a little text, say, like, "Hey man, how's it going?" He's like, "Great, come come down and sit here." And this is this was our new oh, view. Nice, five rows back, uh, perfect view of uh, of everything. It was gorgeous. And then of course we got la- got to see Larry in action, killing it. Uh, with his camera this guy is so hospitable he put his camera down came up and took our food orders for us no. larry the carry the camera guy he brought us drinks twice what he's like what are you drinking what are you drinking i'm like water please god <laughs> some water and uh, and some beer of course but uh but yeah and he took our food orders and everything else <laughs> it was awesome he's a camera person he's a camera he's guy a camera up the guy's on the field yeah. as yeah you're five rows back you're just just beside the first base dugout. Yeah. Why is he bringing you? I don't get it. This well, is this t- is a trivia he, question. I'll never figure out. <laughs> he he sort of helps himself to because it's the club zone, right? So there's like oh, like yeah. buckets of beer and water and everything okay. and lemonade and all that. And he just like puts the camera down 
and runs up, grabs himself a drink. He's like, what, do, what can I get for you guys? Because he's running past us to go back down uh, to the camera. So he gave he got us drinks. He offered us food. We didn't take him up on the food. Uh, and it was incredible. It was, uh, you know, and he made me feel like a big shot in front of Canadian Dave, you know? Like, uh, it was mm-hmm. like, uh, okay. That's you know, awesome. felt like a big deal. Uh, but one of the highlights of being there, uh, they lost, by the way, mm-hmm. uh, but it was an entertaining game. But one of the highlights is that sort of midway through maybe the third inning, we realized the organ player, Matthew Kaminsky is his name, legend. Like, he would give sir foster a run for, for his money i think <laughs> like what like it's such a joy to be uh, if you're a sports fan living in atlanta you got sir foster down at uh state farm you got matt kaminsky at truest park <laughs> and you know so the walkout music i've never noticed this really in a game but i i noticed it this time he's got you know the home team have their walkout music and as they pick them and they're, you know, enter Sandman and whatever else is playing. But the organ player, Matt Kaminsky picks the tunes for the opposing (laughs) walk-ons. And sometimes they're little jokes. Sometimes they're just clever little puns on their names. And some of them are some deep cuts. So today we're going to play a new game and it's called organ tuner. Whoops. So in this game, I pick, I'm going to play you a little bit of the tune the organ player played. Okay. And you're going to tell me which player he played it for. Does that make sense? Yeah. We got to figure out the song, sort of make the connection. Exactly. And figure out where the pun is Mm -hmm. or. So you got to name the tune and then figure out what player it was played for. And your hint is that it's whoever was on the San Francisco Giants, whoever played in the series, the weekend series, so the th- over the three days. Got it. So Joel and I, we're going to work together. You work together, and I, some of them are gimmies, I think, <laughs> or not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, well, you said that you and Canadian Dave uh, were sitting <laughs> in the seats and yeah. coming up with them. We, we heard- came up with the so- – we definitely came up with the song names, and then we made the connections, but we did have the advantage of walk- <laughs> watching the guy walk out. It was we <laughs> – we had the names going in, yeah. But I think you can get these. Okay. And I'm like, this could, this could make a decent segment on the show. So, right. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First one. Listen up. We got oh, this. I know it. We got this. Joel. You got it. Okay. So what's the song? Uh, the theme song for Austin Powers. Yep. So it's got to be Austin That's Slater. That's got to be Austin Slater, yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Easy. See? Okay. Thank I told you. you. Thank okay. you for the uh, this the meatball. <laughs> that was like uh, Joel. Austin Slater check. Mariano Rivera. That was that the Enter Sandman question <laughs> of this second segment. I, th- I think it's I think it's going to get a little harder here. No, no. These, are, these may all be gimmies for all I know. Okay, second one. Ready? Here it comes. A very good time. We'll have a gay old time. Yeah. Oh, w- Wilmer Flores. God damn, you guys are good. good. So obviously this is the Flintstones theme. And <laughs> Wilma Flintstone being yeah. <laughs> the connection for uh, Wilmer Flores. Uh, yes. I th- uh, this is going to be good. Because I think I think I'm in lockstep, you know, like the three degrees of separation uh, of separation here, you know, close enough. So you just <laughs> let's just play the the Flintstone theme song. Uh, Mike Kaminsky is that what you said his name was? Sorry, uh, Matt Kaminsky. Matt Kaminsky. Matt I Kaminsky. apologize. Yeah, uh, Matthew yeah. actually, it's uh, everywhere I see it, um, and he does post the set lists on his Twitter account after. So um, nice call, Joel. Nice. Yeah, call. great call. Great call. Okay. Okay. Third one. Here we go. Recognizable tune, obviously. Yes. I'm gonna say, Joel, you got a good, a good guess here. I'm, I'm trying to. Bl- I know that, I know that tune, but I don't. Is it, is it for Michael Conforto? Nope. Oh. I thought now could... the, the, the piece is called Minuet in G. 
Oh, but you're thought, looking for the composer. That's oh, that's the connection. I thought I thought it could have been called something concerto and uh, yeah, and that's it's a good a th- good. That guess, was the only sure. thing. minuet in G, and we're looking for the composer. The composer is the key to the finding the name. Wow, um, the names. You know, if you're if you're playing along at home, Johann Johann Camargo. You got it, Johann Sebastian, Johann Sebastian, Bach. Sebastian Bach. You got yeah! it. Nice. Yeah! I was gonna, I was gonna go through the list because I didn't really have a good, a good <laughs> guess, but then I saw Johan. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, F. That's uh, nice one. That was all you. Just a general hint as well. There may be repeats. F Y I. Of the players. Of the players. Thank you. Appreciate that. Because they come okay. come up more than once. Right. To to bat. I mean. All right. Here's the next one. Drawing a blank here, Joel. I, it's, this it's, is the hardest one. It's a, it sounds like a theme song. It is. Are we on, on a, a Are we on a boat? Is this uh, Gilligan's? Nope. It's not Gilligan's. We're boat. on uh, the California highways. We're on the Cal- so. What's the theme song? What's the theme song of? <laughs> or you're not allowed to tell me. I can. Uh, you don't it's, have to. You don't the, have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. If you don't know it right away, you're not gonna get it. Uh, California highways. Patrol. Oh. It's about cops. Oh, chips. Chips. Yeah. Chips, yeah. chips. Okay. Okay. Um, cops, chips. Cops, chips. Um, now, there's an actor. Tie- oh, it's an actor. It's an actor in the show. Oh. And that's the tie in. Uh, I ain't getting there. He was a heartthrob. JD- he played uh, Poncherello. Go, go ahead. Ponch, say Joel. Go ahead. JD Davis? Nope. Oh. Nah. I don't know the actor's name. The actor's name is Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada, yeah. So he played it for Tyro Estrada. Oh, Tyro Estrada. Yeah. Tyro Estrada. Okay. You missed one. That's all right. No. That's all right. Well, that was a that was a very, very deep cut. Patrol. Yeah. Sorry, wasn't gonna get there. That was a absolutely a grandpa question. I think that show was on in the seventies. Patrol. Yeah. The, it's a it's a hint that it's dated when I type in patrol and it doesn't come up. <laughs> you gotta type in t- uh Grandpa's favorite TV show. No, what? What? Even there's another show called Doom Patrol that's more recent. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's called Chips though. The, the show is called Chips. Oh yeah, very famous show. Yeah. They made a re- remade the movie. Okay, seventy-seven to eighty-three. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next one. This hmm. is a tough one. I just want to hear the song. Don't even want to guess. Don't want to ruin it. Don't want to ruin this moment it's with you two. <laughs> this karaoke version? Yeah. So you're missing the melody. I feel like Joel knows it. He's he's got that look <laughs> in his face. No, I. No, uh, Joel's listening to Brian McKnight with me. This is this isn't our genre, right, Joel? <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is another hundred no. percent Grandpa one. Okay, the song is called... The song is by Poison. Oh, okay. Okay. Nah, and the song is called Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Oh, it's Every thorn. Rose Has Its Thorn. I recognize that. Yeah, Every Rose Has Its Thorn. So who would that be for? Whew. Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Every not, Rose not Has jumping Its Thorn. Out, not jumping it's out. It's a repeat. This guy's already been up to bat. <laughs> I don't know. You've already said Why? his name. Because it's the poison. Is the poison? I know. I want to get it right with the. It's first the title. Thing. The song of the title is the hint. That's the key. Every rose <laughs> has its thorn. What is a rose? Flower. Yeah. In Spanish. Wilmer Flores. That's it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> oh, flower. I've yeah, got flower. it. Flower. Boo. Some Sorry, of that's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's tough. Okay, next one. This one I didn't get. No, no. Oh, Austin Slater, Saved by the Bell. Very good. Yeah. Very this good. Is the Saved by the Bell theme song? Yeah. Make it hard, man. Make it hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They've been super hard. They've been super hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here comes a harder one. Yeah. All right, here we go. I know this song. What's the name of the song, Joel? Uh, I know the chorus. It's all right. Say the chorus. So glad we made yep. it. 
I'm so glad so we made bad. it. Yep. Every do 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 do. <laughs> you ah. missed you missed the title of the song. Right? You skipped over it. Tass, that's the song, yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know the title of the song. I don't either. I know the chorus. Okay, the title the of the song. song is not the hint. It's who did this song. That's the hint. Who's the artist? Uh, the song is called "Give Me Some Love." Give me some love, yeah. yeah. Give me, give me some love, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. do you know who's? Sa- you need to know who sang this song. You need to know who sang it. The artist. I looked it up. Don't know it. I looked it Don't up. Okay. I didn't, I what didn't is know it? it. What is the it? Spencer Davis Group. Yeah, must have been for JD oh, Davis. Correct. Very all good. Right, all right. There all right. Go. Okay. Okay. This is this is my favorite one. This is less less jokes than I thought we were gonna get. Well, sorry. Uh, this one's a not, bit not for you. <laughs> not for you. I'm just saying that I thought Matthew Kaminsky would throw some. Well, I thought more chips, zinc. chips was pretty good. Okay. There's some jokes coming. I can't wait for some jokes. Okay. This one's a bit of a deep cut. This one is the most abstract, but we got it, and it was, it's, here, here it is. Okay, this is the karaoke version, right? Karaoke version. It's, uh, of, is it Madonna? Yeah. Yeah, like a virgin. Correct. So this is the most obscure we said. <laughs> Is that, is that what you said, JJ? Yeah, I think this is the deepest cut. It's many layers in this touch, one. Like a version touch for the very first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, your heartbeat next to mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, are we getting to the part that gives I it mean, away? <laughs> the, it is the artist, not not necessarily oh. the song. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Uh, not jumping out at me, Joel. Um... Oh, what's Madonna's real name? Ooh, well, there we go. There you go. There we go. There you go. I'll give you a hint. It <laughs> is Madonna. Her her first name is Madonna. Oh. But what's her full name? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I blocked this her one. Her last name. I'm a, I'm a Lady Gaga Is it man, Rossi? It's, it's something that's obviously. It's, something her last name is Ch- Chacon. But, what, but what's her middle name? Oh, ho, 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 ho. What's her middle oh, name? And then you will man. have your answer. Uh, okay. I don't know her middle name, but if I'm going through, look at look at the this, roster. And look at the yeah, roster. that's what we're doing here. It's it, can I uh, can I say can I ask if it's from a new player? I, I this I would not know. No, like a player that you haven't said yet. I mean, it's a new. Yeah, this is not a repeat. Well. I don't think her middle name is Conforto or Michael. I don't think her middle name is Patrick or Bailey. Bailey? No. Nope. Uh, nope. Elliot Ramos, Wade nope. Meckler, Jock Peterson, Luis Matos, Casey Schmidt, Lamonte Wade Jr., Brandon. You said it. You said it already. I'll say that. Casey? Nope. Schmidt? <laughs> That's her middle name, <laughs> Schmidt. <laughs> Luis Matos. Uh, Matos? Oh. Matos? Her last name is, her, her middle name is Louise. Louise. <laughs> ah. Madonna Louise Chacon. Wasn't going to get there. Ah, I thought it was brilliant. Awesome. What a deep cut, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a deep cut. At least cut. we got the name part. We got the name clue. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah, very tough. Madonna Louise Chaconi. Okay. Great stuff. Next one. We have mentioned this band already on this show. Trivia, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Joel asked me about Oh, Eric, this. Eric Clapton. No. Er- what a Trey's favorite. That's the dead? Oh, Grateful Dead. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you don't know the song, then you're kind of screwed. I ain't screwed because we're listening to this song. <laughs> Screw copyright. We're listening to this song. Yeah, we ain't making any money on this one. <laughs> No, nah, we're not. I ain't getting there. It's about a, it's about a train engineer, a driver of a train, who's high on cocaine. And right. His, and his yeah. name is Casey Jones. Okay, so Casey Schmidt. Correct. Casey Schmidt. Okay. 
Hmm. Schmidt wasn't going to get that one. Okay, this next one, uh, it took us a minute because we didn't realize the correct pronunciation of this player's name. Ooh, thank you. That's that's an interesting hint. Here it is. By the great John Williams. It's a theme from a movie. Where are we? What movie are we in? (laughs) Set the scene a little bit. There is a little lost alien. E.T. Okay. Okay. Correct. You got the you you got the theme song. Elliot Ramos. You nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. It took us a second till we saw the print the his name printed on the like he must pronounce it Elliot. So. Yeah, good oh, one, Tess. Okay. Good yeah, one. Yeah, I got the yeah. We, nice. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I, I I looked at the name Blake Sable, and I thought maybe this there's a little bowl dancing around right now, but it was <laughs> it, it was ET. It was pretty easy. I th- yeah, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm still in Fred Flintstone. I'm in the, in the mm. Flintstones mindset right now. Mm-hmm. I, I, great <laughs> gazooks. I could see. Uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> see little characters yep. flying around. So, 100%. all right, great stuff, 100%. great stuff. That was a good one, Elliot. Okay, you want a couple more? Yes. Okay, here is another <laughs> hilarious, hilariously deep cut. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, oh. Not walk like in a. Gyp- Walk Like an Egyptian right? is the song by the Bangles, yes. <laughs> totally guessing Johan Camargo. No. No. Walk, walk Like an Egyptian, what's the... Egyptian old... is the, the key here. <laughs> That's such a deep cut. <laughs> walk Like an Egyptian. Okay, let me ask you this. What's no the idea. capital of Egypt? Cairo? Or a main major city? I don't know. Cairo or Alexandria? Alexandria? Cairo is the city I'm looking for. Has to do with Conforto? Michael Conforto? Wait, this is a repeat, by the way. Cairo. Cairo. Estrada. Tyro <laughs> Estrada. Tyro Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> Literally Cairo just rhymes with Cairo. Oh, Cairo. Okay. And he played oh, walk okay. like an Egypt, Egyptian. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, maybe a deep cut. I don't know. Here, here it comes. Oh, Jacques Peterson. Mm-mm. No? Nope. Where do you get Why? Jacques Peterson from? Because he likes... Ja- J- What's the name of the detective in the Pink Panther? Oh, that's uh, uh, Inspector Clouseau. Isn't it Jacques Clouseau? Yeah, Jacques Clouseau, but it's not. Okay. Oh, good guess. It's good a good guess. guess. You got it. You, like, oh, okay. You're on the right track. Really good guess. So the Pink Panther. Oof. Christ. It is I a mean, deep ooh. cut. Is it? Okay, okay so I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I don't really because know anything. Because if you don't know anything about it, <laughs> yeah. it's it's the guy that directed all the Pink Panther movies. <laughs> or most of them, anyway. You know the director for the Pink Panther movies off the top of your head, Joel? No. I, I'm even going to look not. it up because there's still it's it's still a challenge Yeah. Uh, after that. because It'll be revealed right away as soon as you oh, see it. Oh, will it? I think so. So is it Clive Donner? No. Oh. Uh, Who the hell is Clive Donner? <laughs> it's Blake Edwards. Is the the main director? He's he's directed most of them. Oh, Blake Sable. That's it. You get it. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Blake Edwards. Sorry, that's my bad. I was reading in the, in the wrong section. All right, we got two more. Ready? Yeah. Anything, Joel? I got nothing. You know the song, Tassie? Not yet. Another stoner band. <laughs> Joel, nothing? No. Okay, you'll never get it's it. Not Ice Cold. This is Pink Floyd. Oh. It's from the soundtrack of The Wall. Or from the album The Wall, I should say. 
The song is called Comfortably Numb. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, I know this song. Okay, I didn't... Michael Conforto? Yeah, you got it, Tassie. Yeah, you got to lay it out. You got to you gotta draw it all out for us, JD. <laughs> Sorry. What's the uh, Michael Conforto connection? I don't... Comf- it kind of rhymes with comf- comfortably <laughs> Sounds numb. like. Oh. Pulling on your earlobe. <laughs> okay. Sounds like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, last one. This is the final one. one. Here we go. Well, let's try and get one. It's been a, it's been a minute. Now, this, I don't know I about know. this one. I should have I should have put a meatball at the bottom here, but uh, That's, yeah, that make us feel better. Yeah, right? but uh, this is a classic sitcom. We're not on a boat, are we? Not on a boat. We're in like an old tiny oh, pawn shop. Sure. Oh, Sanford and Son. You got Sanford it. Sanford and Son. Okay. Oh, the key man. here is what was the son's name? Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Did you ever watch Sanford and Son? I did, yeah. My dad loved that show. And I can picture the set oh, and everything. What was its what kid's was name? Uh, name? Lamont, Lamont Wade Jr. You got it, Taz. Yeah, yeah Lamont, yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Let's never speak of this again. Oh, come on. It was great. <laughs> it was great. No, it was that fun. was good. That was tough. Yeah, tough. Fun. Like, uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Matt, Matthew Kaminsky now. He's like, a killer, man. He's killing it. Killing and the it, sound of the organ at a ballpark yeah, There's he, nothing like it. He's playing every single one of those. Yeah. 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 This is all organ. All yeah. organ. Awesome. Shout out to Matthew Kaminsky at Truist Park for giving us a segment. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> we needed that, baby. This is fun. This is fun. All right. To continue our basic, basic baseball music trivia theme here, it's another edition of You're Out. <laughs> There's that organ. This is how we play You're Out. <laughs> Got to eliminate one of these three musician super fans of baseball teams. All right. Here are our three. Gwen Stefani. Huge mm. Angels fan. Yep. Metallica. Giants fans. The whole band are Giants fans. And Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam is definitely a Cubs fan. Now, we picked, <laughs> we picked three real fans. This isn't some... A person who goes out to the ballpark. I'm not 100% sure how much Gwen Stefani loves the Angels, actually, when as I say that. But she was there. She was there. She seems like she was with family. She oh. watched Otani's bat flip earlier this season. Mm-hmm. And, uh, She's she, a fan. She, she loved it. She's be. a fan, for sure. Uh, but these uh, these other ones are these are hardcore. Yeah. Um, and the, uh, you know what I like about this list? All A-listers. All A-listers. Yeah. Yeah, we were thinking first. Yeah, get the get the Smash Mouth guy in there. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill your darlings here. Okay, so who are you picking to throw out of this, Joel? Who, who's, who are you gonna keep on your roster? I'm going to get rid of Eddie Vedder. Um, the reason I just feel like the Cubs already have enough kind of celebrity fans. <sighs> They don't need any more. Like, Anaheim needs all the fans they can get. So, Gwen's got to stay for sure. Okay. Um, I like how all of Metallica uh, are Giants fans. I don't know. Just better seems to be the the odd man out for this exercise. Yeah, the Cubs already have enough high profile, high star power. I feel like with Bill Murray and some other guys. So, yeah, for me, uh, he's he's got to go. And also, is. Is he from Chicago? I thought he was from the Northwest. I kind of thought he was a Seattle guy too, just because they came out of the grunge scene. But that was literally based on only that. <laughs> so yeah. I actually don't know that. Yeah, from. that's what I'm. Yeah. So I mean, if he's from Chicago, I think that changes it a bit. But yeah, I'm still going with Eddie Vedder. Love Pearl Jam, like you know, one of the most like iconic bands ever. But sorry, Eddie, you got to go for this exercise. <laughs> Uh, you, you always just rip on anything Cubs. You wanted to get rid of Wrigley Field earlier this. I season. don't. I don't rip on anything Cubs. <laughs> don't you Tass? Don't you be starting this now? Oh yeah, I'm putting you in the box. All right, so Vetter gone for you. What do you got, JD? It's interesting that you took it from the the baseball perspective. Like ah, they already have enough fans. Mm. But I'm going pure musical taste. Okay. Um, and Metallica, get out of here. 
Mm, not your scene. Not my not my thing. Uh, they have a couple of bangers, but I actually find them cringe. I showed Rachel this slide today. She didn't even hesitate. Metallica, gear, get out of here. <laughs> like I actually find them kind of cringe. They're like fake metal to me. They're like, you want to be in a metal band and you put metal in the name of your band? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Plus, Lars is a bit of a pill. Can you imagine sitting next to Lars at a Giants game? He would be insufferable. He'd be that guy. Interesting. Yeah, I sat down and I watched some full music videos from Metallica, like the full eight minute. Yeah songs yeah. and that's why cut I, it down guys well why does it have to be why does every song have to be eight nine minutes long some people like the grateful dead <laughs> some people like dave matthews band yeah some people like metallica yeah that's a strike against them in the modern baseball world long is out that's right short is in so even, oh by the way that game was hardly short tess oh i was super long you had a long one <laughs> it was so in long the, in the sun yeah he had a mound repair. Ugh. That was six minutes. I saw that. Was that only six minutes? Yeah, it felt a lot longer. It felt like 60 minutes. Sorry, go ahead. You're, I you're getting inside. You. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of wanted to get rid of Metallica for that reason. Uh, the long songs. That's a great it's, reason. It just doesn't fit anymore. Um, I, 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 I also am locking in Gwen. She's not going anywhere. She's also the most recent person I saw at a baseball game out of all these three. Mm -hmm. And, again, she saw the Otani bat flip. She was into it. And even though as a baseball player, you got to have an even flow, you got to just breathe. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to be a better man for my daughter, not a not, not a nothing man like Joey Gallo. Uh, yeah, I looked up all those. Well that was, done, that was well great done. going down memory lane. Right. Um, and and watching music videos again. Music videos. Remember those? I remember those. <laughs> those were some. So yeah, I'm 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 taking better. I'm also with you, JD. Metallica. Get out of here. You're out of here. Although, yeah, I I didn't mind those. I, I watched I watched some some music videos and Danielle was just listening. She said, Is this the original? And I said, Yes. <laughs> yes, we're not remaking this song. Finally, we're actually gonna listen to an original song. And I listened to the whole thing and I enjoyed it actually. Well, uh, but Enjoy it. I mean, people are gonna come after me. Mm -hmm. Not so well. Everybody knows about my Oasis disdain. I hate them, but <laughs> the Metallica people are going to come after me. I'm going to be like, bring it. All right. That was a lot of fun. Baseball music trivia. We did it. Thanks for uh, for chiming in as well on YouTube. The Bleacher Creatures had some fun as well. Join us every Wednesday. The Athletic Baseball Show feed, either on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts, join our social media page. Joel does some work on Instagram. Always doing work, Joel. Up in the middle of the night, <laughs> making memes. And you're, you're still to. you're still a Freddie Freeman for MVP fan. I saw with your your most recent posts, so I got some uh, some people in a tizzy, including myself. <laughs> um, you in a tizzy? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, you can get the best sports writing in the world for two dollars a month for the next year at theathletic.com slash baseball show or theathletic.com slash no dunks. Again, check out the Athletic Baseball Show feed for everything going on in the standings, the races, the Yankees falling apart, etc. We'll be back next Wednesday with some more of that. For JD, for Joel, we're out.